Firefighters have just left the scene of a fire in Marshall County. Four people were taken to the hospital, and there is nothing left of the house where it happened. WSBT's Rachel Lake was one of the first reporters on the scene. And Rachel, do investigators know what caused this fire? They don't, Rick. Investigators are still trying to figure that out. The La Paz Fire Chief says an elderly woman was inside the home at the time. Fortunately, she was rescued. A neighbor was there when the fire broke out and shot video on her phone, which she sent to us. Neighbors say they could hardly believe what they were seeing as flames shot through the roof of this house on the 1000 block of 5C Road. I came around the corner and the house was on fire in the back. The fire trucks were here. Uh, we were standing here and watched the whole down upstairs collapse and the ambulances were taking them away when we got here. The La Paz fire chief says an elderly woman was inside the home at the time. As crews were pulling up to the scene, they saw bystanders and a Marshall County officer pulling her through the front door. The officer, elderly woman, and the woman's son-in-law and granddaughter were taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. I can't believe it. I, I mean, the house, it's just, it's, it's shocking. The fire chief says everyone was out of the house by the time they arrived. A total of 16 agencies responded to the fire. Because this is a rural area, there are no fire hydrants, and crews had to bring in several tankers, shuttling water from Plymouth and La Paz. I wish they would have got here a little quicker, you know, the timer on the water and stuff, I guess, you know, have that a little bit quicker. You know, we need something obviously out here in case something like this would happen because they're having to leave and come back to town. It took 60 to 70,000 gallons of water to put this fire out. And now the house is a total loss. Neighbors can't help but feel for the family who lived here. Wonderful. They give you the shirt off their back. This is really devastating for them. Looks like they lost everything. They lost everything. They have nothing left. There's no memories. There's nothing. Pictures, everything are gone. Again, four people were taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. The fire chief says he believes it's a minor and they'll all be okay. Neighbors told me the son-in-law's son name is Stan Kayser. I checked and he is listed at the address where the fire took place. I also called Memorial Hospital and they have a Stan Kayser listed there in stable condition. Reporting from the live desk, Rachel Lake, WSBT Channel 22 News. Some closure tonight.